In other news this morning, the chief executive of the SIT, you're up to date with matters in the Middle East. Israel launched fresh airstrikes on Beirut overnight in suburbs thought to be Hezbollah strongholds. It came just hours after the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned people in Lebanon that they could face destruction and suffering like the Palestinians in Gaza unless they threw out what he called these terrorists. Well, our chief correspondent... Two and a half million pensioners living just above or below the poverty line will lose the winter fuel payment this year, according to the charity Age UK. They say the government's decision is a disaster for older people who are already struggling. Ministers insist there will be help with schemes such as the warm home discount and boosting the number of people taking up pension credit. Gargi Patel has more. The three remaining candidates in the Tory leadership race, James Cleverley, Robert Jenrick and Kemi Badenoch, will be whittled down to two this afternoon after a final ballot of Conservative MPs. They will then go head to head in a battle to win the support of Tory party members. Our political cancer treatment is being put on hold while the royal couple are away. The M42 is the worst motorway in England, according to a survey of more than 9,000 drivers carried out by the watchdog Transport Focus. Motorists blamed reduced speed limits, roadworks, potholes for the poor rating. Meanwhile, at the other end of the scale, the M40 between London and Birmingham was ranked the best. Now, work in TV, link warning then to Lebanese civilians. Lovely. It wasn't always the front runner, but it just shows one speech can change everything. Yeah. Um, the dizzying heights of uh, national television here. What is so wrong with that motorway? It seems to be flowing quite nicely.